I'm Dave Forsey. I'm Eric Holmes. And we're designers on the Hulk Ultimate Destruction. So we're here showing you a mission today. Uh, this is a mission a little bit into the game here as we started to unlock some of the more advanced enemies in the game. These characters are Hulkbusters. They're based, they're mechs based on characters which were originally in the comic book in the 70s. And we've reimagined them with the help of the number one Marvel comic book artist, Brian Hitch, and created these kind of walking F-14s. These are completely over the top powerful enemies who can challenge the, how fast the Hulk can move. They can actually fight them and engage them. They've got hand-to-hand -hand combat, they've got missiles, they've got machine guns. They've, they've got everything. There's different versions of them all the way through the game. These are the first versions that you'll see here. The Hulk game is really a huge power fantasy. The player gets to indulge anything that he wants to do. He can uh, use any of the Hulk's massively over-the-top movement or destruction abilities to take on legions of opponents. There really is very little that can, that can stop the Hulk. The Hulk is completely unstoppable in terms of fighting, in terms of movement. He is the most powerful superhero in the Marvel Universe. The matter he gets, the more powerful he gets. There's no limit to his strength. And we've tried to capture that here. So here, we've got a whole bunch of different kinds of combos. So in this one, he's grabbed the Hulkbuster, picked it up, and smashed it to the ground, not only taking out the Hulkbuster, but the whole area around it. He's going to flatten this guy on the ground. We have a huge range of moves for the Hulk in this what about game. 150 different combinations? A lot of them are unlockable. They'll appear later in the game. So you don't start off with all the moves right out of the gate, although you do start out with a hell of a lot. The Hulk character is completely overpowered. You'll see he's going to throw this guy here into this tanker. There's a lot of destructive potential in the world here for grabbing stuff, throwing it, creating explosions to create secondary damage. And the world is your weapon. Here, he's taken a truck and he's converted it into a shield, which you can use as a surfboard to move away around. Comes right through here, kicks it up again, and smashes it right against one of his opponents. The player has a lot of potential to, to really use all these different abilities that he has, not just to wield weapons, but also to create new weapons out of other ones. We call that weaponization, where he grabs an object, he flattens it, rips it, stretches it, takes a part of it off and creates an entirely new weapon out of it here. Here he's going to make a ball and chain out of a wrecking truck. He can actually take the ball and chain off the front of the vehicle and then shoots it out like a giant yo-yo. He can use this to kind of uh, double attack characters that will hit as it goes through. It will smack again as it comes back. And you really knock these guys around. You can also spin it around and hurl it at characters and whap it off his head here. The whole world is your weapon. You pick it up, you use it, you throw things against it and create these huge explosions. If you've had a bad day at the office, you can pick up this game, sit around and smash everything about you. The player has uh, extremely fast movement abilities here. Here he's moving at about the same speed as a sports car can drive, so we really need characters like the Hulkbusters or jets or gunships that can catch up with him. Here he's created an entirely new weapon here. He's ripped that car apart and made what we call steel fists out of that by ripping the two halves apart and smashing them together to create giant steel boxing gloves. And the Incredible Hulk, the angrier he gets, the more powerful he gets. What we're going to show here is something called the Devastator move. The Devastators are the biggest of the big. These uh, moves the player can use to really uh, wipe out entire areas of enemies, like clear out entire city blocks. This one in here applies all the damage to a single enemy and really allows them to, to let it all out with pinpoint accuracy. This next move he's going to do here, this is the Critical Atomic Slam. It's a huge ground pound that just blasts off like a tactical nuke. This the player can use to clear out a whole city block area, take buildings down, uh, destroy all the vehicles, It'll send tanks spiralling through the air. Uh, it expresses all of his power over a large region. And now that the enemies are gone, he can go and get the part that he was sent to collect, rip it out, but the entire base has now been alerted and he still has to fight his way out.